Now, the question is, what is antimatter? Is that just a scientific hypothetical, or is it a real thing? And if it is real, what is its theoretical usage outside of, you know, killing cloud-based life forms? Oh my God, I love it. By the way, <laughs> probably one of my favorite episodes of Rick and Morty ever because of fart, and they do kind of like a little uh, David Bowie-esque uh, musical number uh, 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 called Goodbye Moon Men. And uh, <laughs> I, it's, I don't know, it's sublime to me. I just, <laughs> and by the way, Fart, uh, they, uh, Rick names him Fart because uh, <laughs> because he's gaseous, of course. He's, he doesn't have form. And so, uh, and he doesn't know what a fart is. And so he says, I like this name, Fart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, and it's not an it's not an acronym for something. I don't think it, it is. He you just... know, I, 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 so I haven't seen that episode. That's yeah. why. But I can totally talk about uh, uh, antimatter. So first of all, antimatter is real. This yeah. favorite fuel of science fiction. It is real. It was proposed back in the 1930s, and it would take a while before it was discovered in the laboratory. The sun turns matter into energy all the time by converting hydrogen into helium, but that's not as efficient as turning pure matter and antimatter into pure energy. <clears throat> so there you have it. The yes. fart gas. An effective countermeasure to the fart gas. Yes, yes. Antimatter fart gas. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I've, I've had a couple cases of that, so. <laughs> It's not well, as much. I, it's not as much uh, science fiction as people might think. <laughs> <laughs> so, so 